Ethereum, a tale of two time frames. On the weekly charts for Ethereum, things are starting to look pretty gosh darn interesting. On the daily charts, perhaps a bit more caution is required over the coming days. In today's video, I want to break that down for you. My name is Lark. I make videos on investing. If you like that topic, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, give that thumbs up button, just a, a little tap to show some love for this kind of content. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So let's take a look at Ethereum on the weekly charts to get started off with here. We can see right here, Ethereum did close last week's candle above the 200 week exponential moving average. That is the dark blue line here on the chart. However, the current weekly candle is trading below that. Obviously we still have a long time to go before we close that candle. So plenty of time to recover to get a candle close back above that. It is coming back into a key area of price demand. We'll talk about more here in a minute when we look at the daily charts, but I wanted to point out something real quick on the weekly MACD. You see, look at this right here. We're actually just now approaching a bullish cross for the weekly MACD for Ethereum. Now that could be showing that we're building up enough momentum here to kick off a new major rally for Ethereum. Now that is a weekly chart, right? So we're talking about a kind of move that could be pushing us out weeks uh, looking forward. Remember, we're six weeks out now from the merge happening. So that's a pretty interesting uh, crossover that we are seeing coming through here, right there. Just, uh, just a little bit right now, but it has officially, of course, crossed over. Now, Another interesting one I want to point out here for you, because this is probably the line to beat when it really comes down to it, is the RSI. So let's just go ahead and make that a little more prominent here for you to see. So these peaks on the RSI basically show that Ethereum has been in a downtrend since early 2021 when it comes to the weekly RSI. And we have not been able to break out from that. Now we did of course have an oversold reading back here, which as always tends to be a great buying opportunity when we see these oversold moments on the weekly RSI for an asset like this. But we have not yet broken out of the downtrend for Ethereum. So you can see the RSI downtrend here. We've got these lower peaks that keep coming in and our latest attempt to get up and cross over that downtrend line has not been successful. Not yet anyway. Maybe the merge hype will get us back up over that. But even then, I would be a bit suspicious of such a move because the merge hype may just be that, a bit of hype around the particular upgrade and then a buy the rumor, sell the news kind of event comes into play. But I think until we can start talking about uh, change coming in here, we need to beat this orange line. We need to see RSI convincingly closing over this to talk about a trend reversal really coming in here for Ethereum. So obviously a ways away from making that happen. And in a similar vein, we can draw this on the chart here too, a long way away from any kind of potential price reversal as well. We need to really conquer back over all the major exponential moving averages on the weekly time frame. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the daily charts here. We're not gonna need the RSI for that, but I do wanna point out something happening on the MACD here, because I think that's a very interesting thing to be talking about. Well, we have this bullish cross forming up on the weekly MACD for Ethereum. We actually have a bearish cross about to confirm on the daily. So you might be thinking, come on, Lark, what's up with that, man? Well, essentially what we have here is a situation where the bigger time frames are starting to look more bullish, but short term, we could be getting a bit of price pain coming in. Now, depending on how much price pain that equates into, or if this is just a, a fake out, that will determine, of course, whether or not we continue to maintain the momentum on the bigger time frames. So we'll need to keep an eye on this daily as well, of course, but we are in a situation where we are hitting a bearish cross on Ethereum, on the daily, on the MACD. Previous times when we've seen that happen has definitely been a market rolling over kind of scenario. I mean, you can look back here to some of the most recent big events when that happened, and it, it was the signifier of a major downturn in the price, which of course would continue to reinforce the idea that what we've been seeing recently has been a relief rally. Although I think Ethereum does still have that potential again to have a price rally in the lead up to the merge. So I want you to keep that 
in mind here. Now, what is happening currently for the price of Ethereum? Remember, we could see this MACD on the daily trend up again very, very quickly. So just do keep that in mind. Right now, we've seen Ethereum being rejected off of the 100-day exponential moving average. It proved to be an area just a bit too tricky for the price to overcome. We did get past $1,700, which as I mentioned was that major area uh, of price support that we wanted to see Ethereum getting beyond. We did get beyond that, but unfortunately, we just touched beyond it. And as you can see from the wicks on these candles here, we did see stellar sellers stepping in, pushing the price down, and us failing to recapture that 100-day exponential moving average. Currently, the price of Ethereum is coming back down into this major area of potential price support here. You can see we had this interesting moment in mid-July where we had the price just ranging in this couple hundred dollar region here, and that's exactly where the price is coming back down to now. It'll be interesting whether or not this area ends up holding or if we actually, I guess, test the bottom of that range, which would be the 50-day exponential moving average. So we come all the way back down here to about $1,500, and still be within sort of a more bullish uh, framework, but that would then also um, validate to an extent that MACD bearish crossover on the daily if we saw the price slowly winding down this way, but where we could still see if that doesn't happen too dramatically, the weekly MACD maintaining a bullish bias. So like I said, it's kind of a tale of two time frames when looking at the charts today. We have this interesting anomaly on the weekly charts where we could be seeing a, bear, uh, a bullish sorry, setup for the merge coming up in about six weeks time, seven weeks time. Whereas on the daily, we're feeling like maybe the things got a little bit cooked here recently. We did get back up into that major, major price area here over $1,700. We got a pretty firm rejection on our first attempt to retake the 100 day exponential moving average. But Maybe we'll get another attempt here in the not so distant future if we find a nice little bounce in this zone right here. Anyway, if you are a cryptocurrency trader, you need to get yourself an account over on Bybit. By the way, you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the top altcoins like Polygon and Cardano on their wildly popular futures markets. They also have the seventh biggest spot market for altcoins in the world. And of course, if you use the link down below to start your account, you get 30% off of your trading fees and up to $4,100 in trading bonuses. Anyway, that's all for me for now. What do you think about the price of Ethereum? Are we potentially setting up for a bullish run in the lead up to the merge in about six weeks? Or are we in a moment where we're going to see some, some real turbulence in the short or time frames coming in for Ethereum? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.